Hello, this is Kate. Hi, Kate. How are you? Uh, this is Casey Ryback over in Human Resources. Hi, Casey. How are you? I'm good. I don't think we've actually met before. No, I don't think so. What can I do for you today? Well, the reason I'm calling is because I heard you were having a baby. I am, yes. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. We're excited. It's our first. (laughs) Yeah, well, oh, that's very exciting. Also, I saw an email regarding one of your coworkers who will be putting on a baby shower for you here at work. Yeah, next week Nicole is uh, putting a baby shower on at lunch. Okay. Well, this is probably where I'm going to have to step in as HR and say absolutely not. <laughs> what would the reasoning for that be? Why, why can't we have a baby shower? Well, have you taken a moment to think of others when you were planning this? Think of others when mm-hmm. planning a baby shower? Yeah. The entire department is going to be there. No, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about the people that are invited and the people that aren't invited. I'm talking about the people who will be hurt the most by your party, and that's the single men in the office. <laughs> What? Well, they can't be pregnant and they can't experience the joy of motherhood. I think a better way to say it is by you having this party, you're going to be baby shaming those men. (laughs) Something funny. Baby shaming? Yes, baby shaming. Those men. Right. What about the married male? Because they can't have babies in it. (laughs) Well, really, I, I guess that's a good point. By you having a baby shower, every man in the company is going to have to sit there and realize that they can't get pregnant. And it's going to hurt a lot of men. I need to back up for a minute. I need to make sure I'm understanding this because this is the stupidest thing I've ever heard. You're calling me that we can't have a baby shower here because men are going to get hurt, that yep. they can't have a baby, mm-hmm. that they can't be pregnant. It's called baby shaming. It's called stupid is what it is. I agree. This baby is shaming ridiculous. is stupid. Baby shaming is stupid, and it shouldn't happen, especially not in this workplace. I don't have time to put up with this b- of baby shaming when all we're doing is trying to have a nice little baby shower. Nicole is nice enough to step up Give me a baby shower. So is that really is that really what it's about? It's about celebrating you being pregnant and not trying to throw it in every man's face here that they can't get pregnant? Because it doesn't what sound like it to me. What is wrong with you? No, oh, it is not to okay. throw it in anybody's face. I think face. I'm getting what you're saying. What is wrong with me? Because my body won't let me harbor a baby for nine months. What is wrong with me is that I wasn't born with the same reproductive organs as you. And I guess if that makes me a worse person, then so be it. But I don't need you what reminding me about it. What is wrong with you? is that your little brain apparently can't wrap around Oh, the okay, great. Okay, I get it. What's wrong with me is I have a tiny brain because I can't get pregnant. Oh, is that my what you're saying? God. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's mm, I it. I thought so. Well, listen, the point is that you have to cancel your baby shower before it gets out of control. No, I'm not doing it. I will not. And if I need to have my director talk to the HR director about it, that's fine. I have never seen anything like this in any human resources manual ever. Well, it should be in every human resources manual. And how many human resources manuals are you reading? Well, I'm in HR and I don't even read that many. Well, then maybe you need to have someone come and show you how to do your job. Okay. I think. You know what, Casey? It's actually part of your job to be kept abreast of current HR situations. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. There it is again. There it is again. Slamming me because I don't have breasts that could feed a baby. I understand all of your subtle digs at me. What? And no, they will never experience the joy of nutrition coming out of them. I do not understand where this is coming from. You're talking about your breasts. I do. You baby shaming. Mm -hmm. And you say you are from HR? Yes. This is a travesty. Well, that's the thing is I lied about being from HR because this is a prank phone call. That is, I don't care if you call it that or not. This is not how an HR department should be run. I agree. That is I, terrible. I agree, and I'm not calling from HR. That's what I'm trying to say. I lied about that. What department are you from then? I'm not from any department at your office. This is Jubal from Brook and Jubal in the morning doing a phone tap on you, and your coworker Nicole set you up. <laughs> oh my God. You know, now this is all over, I'm sure you probably feel pretty bad for baby shaming me, don't you? I forgive you. I, know. <laughs> I don't feel bad for me. <laughs> if you want to walk around with hemorrhoids for two months, then you can have a baby. Sounds fun. <laughs>